Spokane police say a prolific Spokane thief has struck again. Christopher Kanata is in the jail tonight, charged with burglarizing a car audio store Wednesday night. The store is in the 5500 block of North Market in Hilliard. KXLY4 Sally Showman is live at the courthouse tonight where Kanata made his first appearance today. Sally, this guy has an extensive record. If convicted, these charges would be Kanata's 22nd and 23rd uh, felony convictions, and police say he was not acting alone. Another convicted felon is also charged with this crime. The owner of the audio shop says these two have completely cleaned him out. Kelly's custom car audio is closed today, and it will remain closed through the weekend. The owner says he doesn't have anything to sell. All of his stereo equipment was stolen Wednesday night. And these are the two men police say are to blame. Jonathan Marquis and Christopher Kanata, both convicted felons, both now charged with several more. Kanata could be considered a career felon with 21 felonies on his record dominated by property crimes. It's frustrating. Police say it's not all that unusual to see someone like him back out on the streets. Not as rare as we would like. Um, you know, there are a lot of people that are repeat offenders out there that that uh, continually vic victimize people. Evidence left behind at Kelly's led police to Marquis, Kanata, and a whole lot of stolen goods that filled a car, two storage units, and two homes. Police recovered stereo equipment, tools, three handguns, and meth. They say there are likely more victims. These things tend to grow, you know. It's uh, lot, lots of victims and, uh, you know, it might lead to something else. We just don't know. The owner of Kelly's says he invested everything in this business. He started it out of his car until he had enough money to start the shop eight months ago. Now he says he has to start over. I hate to see another victim, and I don't care if it's the, the first time the burglar or, or criminal has committed that crime or if it's the hundredth time. I mean, each time it's, it, there's a victim out there. Kanata's most recent arrest was just last August. He was charged with breaking in to a storage unit in Rockford. Live at the courthouse, Sally Showman, KXLY4 HD News.